Watford wallet by Bristol City here on Boxing Day, now looking to put recent home frustrations behind them in a final game of 2023. Quite the calendar year for Stephen Schumacher, from the Pilgrims to the Potters, after leading Plymouth to the Championship, now getting to grips with life in charge of Stoke. The Staffordshire side fresh from picking up their first win under the new boss, 3-1 at Birmingham, then following a goalless draw with Millwall. They do have a little bit of momentum. The Hornets all some away lately, three straight travelling triumphs, but back-to-back -back Vicarage Road defeats. Trying to get something moving through Kone, but Stoke get the ball back. Spria tenacious, Livermore. It's a good low raking ball, fine vision and distribution. Martins is going to have a go, but Thompson tries to catch out Bonham at his near post. And he is given the corner that he was craving. Good alert defending. It comes at the cost of a set piece. And it comes then, Porteous meets it, and it's in! Jake in the box. Livermore with the opener, an unlikely scorer perhaps. His first Hornets goal. Watford strike first, just before the quarter hour. The header from Porteous was crucial. And the definition of a close ranger from the experienced midfielder who got there in front of Ben Pearson. And scored a league goal since October last year. Really has settled the home faithful. That early effort from Livermore. And good running by Dali Bashiru. Free kick. The Hornets are buzzing. Aspria. Such quick feet. It's a high hanging ball. Martins, a clean enough strike, he wasn't able to make it to. Spria always a threat. Thompson did well again. Stoke got in response here. It's a good ball for Zabanovic, pulls it back. Ryan Meyer scores! 1-1! Magnificent from the Moroccan. The Potters level. A third in the championship for the former Ferenc Varos forward in fine form. You have to credit Haksabanovic in the build-up. And he was strong and clinical, wasn't he? A rocket from Ryan. A decisive breakaway. And the stoke of Steven Schumacher Look, a force with which to be reckoned. A stunning hit, no chance for the keeper. 1-1. Cracking game so far. Just getting his ideas across. The former Plymouth boss. And Stoke, hungry for more. Both teams with a very positive mindset in this game. Today, working the angles with Mayer. Just skewed off the boot of uh, Junior Chandu. But should really applaud the way Stoke have reacted to conceded the opening goal in this game. Avarian Ishmael's outfit beginning the night, two points off the playoff places in a typically congested, concertina competitive section of the second tier standings they'd love to retake the lead and that's against the bar I think Jack Bonham remember a product of Watford's academy with a stunning save there Georgie Jack for Tadze with a brilliant strike he's tipped it onto the bar couldn't break into the first team back in the day he broke Home hearts there. Did Bonham with some brilliance. Sensational goalkeeping. 
It's a high tempo affair this as Martins tries his luck. He got the laces through that one. The number 37. Loan from Udinese. Not the worst of strikes. Rip roaring, enthralling affair so far. In the balance though, as Bio grapples with McNally. Referee's got a good view of this. And Bio's in trouble. He's in big trouble. Vacuum Bio sent off. Scott Oldham, the referee, in no doubt as to the course of action. He wanted to take an altercation with McNally. He sees red. And they're down to ten. Now will the sending off impact this game. Fascinating to see. Test for the two managers, of course, as Pearson exchanges passes with Berger. Berger and the ball through. Good goalkeeping. Bei Junho was through there, but Ben Hamer so alert, raced out of his six-yard box there, made himself large. That's excellent stuff from him. And standing firm, they're still doing their utmost to try and get themselves a goal. They've by no means gone into their shell. The Spreer played in by Ryovic. Yasser Spreer, great balance, and he gets the shot away as well. Bonham repels, not for the first time in this riveting contest. Stoke hoping to be happy in Hertfordshire and with Bonham between the posts, they'll believe they can still get the win. Good work again by Junho, the South Korean. But Watford emerge with the ball. Ryovic is the outlet. He's running through the middle, but down the right is the constant thorn in the Potter's rear guard, Yasser Espria. And, well... Pretty well there, hasn't he? The sub Kayembe, the fellow replacement, Ryovic. Well, the number nine wanted league goal number nine for Watford. Kayembe with the cross, just got it from under his feet. He manoeuvred it nicely there. I'll be disappointed he didn't keep the shot down. And it's Stokes' turn with Hoover. And they've worked it again. Sabanovic involved again. Just a little bit too intricate. Watford had worked so hard with the 10. Beijun Ho and Ryan Meyer wants another one. Decent hit again, but another decent save from Hamer. Both keepers have been outstanding in this contest. aiming for a double over their opponents successful in the encounter by the only goal in August they've got one each in this one though lifted in there by Thompson who scored his first goal in three years in their win at Birmingham and that's all over it finishes on as even a feisty affair a fascinating game both goals in the first half a sending off in the second for Watford. The two teams went for the win, you'd have to say. Neither got it. Stokes stay unbeaten under Schumacher. These two ultimately couldn't be separated. Watford won, Stoke won.